Hello and welcome to Always a Friday. If you've watched our Japanese sweets video, you will already know how much we love Japanese sweets. Oh, yeah. So you can just imagine our faces. A couple mm -hmm. of weeks ago, we got an email from Sweets of Japan offering us to try one of their premium wagashi and matcha boxes. We were over the moon, <laughs> so excited. So Sweets of Japan are a brand new company that aim to allow people living outside of Japan a chance to experience a bit of authentic Japanese culture, something that we would fully endorse. With a monthly subscription, they will send you hand-picked matcha and wagashi straight to your door that's all been made in Japan. So wagashi are traditional Japanese sweets that not only taste amazing, but mm. they also look like little pieces of art as well. Yeah. They're so incredible and we'll show you all <laughs> that later. And then matcha tea, it's ground tea leaves mm -hmm. and it's actually becoming um, quite popular all yeah. around the world now as well as Japan. You may or may not have heard of it, but it also has lots of health benefits to mm -hmm. it as well. So it's really, and it tastes amazing too. <laughs> So, Sweets of Japan offer two different boxes, a classic box at $40 a month and a premium box at $60. Both include a selection of wagashi and matcha and are very similar, but the premium box will include a bit more in general and or some of the more expensive items. Both boxes come with free delivery to everywhere in the world too, so no one is left out. So their website is beautiful too, with lots of really interesting information, so make sure you check that out as well at sweetsofjapan.com. We will leave all of the links that you need in the description below. But for now, I think we've waited far too long, let's just get into these <laughs> sweets. So this is how it was delivered, um, all the way from Japan, as you can see the Japanese writing. Um, oh, it takes us back a little bit, doesn't it? No, this is all about customs as well, so it kind of mm -hmm. says what's in it. So let's open it up. It's packaged really well so far. Let's have a little look inside. I'm so excited. There we go. Oh, I really <gasps> am so excited as well. Ah, oh, this is awesome. Oh, it looks beautiful it's so as well. So beautiful. I can show the camera just like this. That is really, really cool. So. Ah, I just oh, want it. There's bubble wrap wow. as well, which is obviously really cool. Because um, it's been shipped. Do you so want to well get designed that and made. And there's a little thank you on the front, which is really nice. Oh, so it says thank you. Enjoy a wagashi box. Oh, I'm sure we will. With wagashi love in Japan. <laughs> Brilliant. And they got this little sweets of Japan um, oh, on there as well. That's so cute. It's made, it looks like a proper little box as well, mm. with packaging. Yeah, it's really oh, cool. What's it sound about? Fantastic. We wrap your box with this paper from Japanese tradition, meaning this is an important gift. Mm. Ah, that's so nice. There's a little tab on here as well. And then you open up. Good presentation. <gasps> this. It's kind of like a hamper. <laughs> it is a little bit. There we go. Oh, sorry. It's all right. And we've got all of this inside. Wow. And oh. even further so, there's extra kind yeah. of packaging and stuff, which is really cool wow Let's there's this so the much stuff in there um but yeah just on our packaging note um first rate really um everything seems oh, to be perfect. really good yeah. um and let's tuck in so what <laughs> is first okay we've got i'm just overwhelmed <laughs> i really am this is amazing so what's great is it actually comes with like a product overview mm -hmm. of all the different sweets and it even comes with instructions oh, wow. of how to make the matcha as well. Yeah, that's really Really, cool. really handy, so we'll keep that there. <laughs> right, so first up is the Amezaiku, um, <gasps> which literally translates to candy craftsmanship. That's, yeah, that one there. One of the most beautiful Japanese traditions that started in the 9th century. No ninth century? Way. Wow, I couldn't quite believe that Look for a minute. That. Candy is heated to around 90 degrees Celsius and then finely crafted with bare hands and traditional Japanese scissors. This month we have Amazaiku in a shape of a Japanese traditional fan, the Uchiwa. I'm probably butchering that pronunciation there, but anyway. <laughs> Inside the round shaped candy, you can find a finely made motif based mm. on traditional Japanese paintings from the Edo period. It's a koi carp. That is a sweet. 
I don't, yeah, it looks like it should be an ornament. It's so that pretty. Is amazing. Have a look. That is unreal. I kind of don't want to eat it. I don't, <laughs> that's a lie. I do, do want to eat, eat it, it, but. Oh, there's something in the bottom. Okay, right, let's just dig in. Yeah. Oh, this is beautiful, though. I know. What I love about Japan as well is that the presentation of everything, so you really notice it when you're there, and they've really delivered it to mm -hmm. us here in the UK, which is really Absolutely. special. Absolutely. A lot of the stuff you get that's Japanese in the UK just, just isn't, and yeah. even though it is technically the same, the, the kind of level of craftsmanship and... Yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. Because nice. right, I don't think you would get this level um, if it hadn't been handcrafted in Japan. Mm -mm. I mean, this is most of the stuff that we didn't even see when we were living in Japan. So it's no, like, we haven't had this. Let me just. Real trip on you do it. I just can't get over this. It looks like a um, like in church yeah. just with my teeth. Oh. In like a church window. What do they call them? Ah, oh, stained glass window. That's the one. Don't I'm scared. Oh, I can't touch it. Oh, amazing. I've got stuff on there. <laughs> No way. So I'm Honestly. guessing you just... Can I show it to the camera? Yeah, show it to the camera. This is just insane. Just tap on it so you get to... Let me move out the way maybe. If you can see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can hold it in front of my face, you can probably see it better. Come on. It's amazing, the fish. It's like a koi <laughs> cup, but it's just so clear. <gasps> Go on. Amazing. Is it effectively just like a lollipop? Yeah, if it's trying to try it. Go on. <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, that doesn't taste or anything. That is mad. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what do you... No, it's gone. <laughs> I licked all the thing off it. It was like painted on it. <laughs> that was painted on it? Yeah. Okay, the stick is... I mean, it's, it's, it's really nice. Can I have a little bite? No, I don't bite it. I can't work out what it tastes like. I love but it, sugar. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah, sometimes stuff like that tastes a bit cheap and chemically that definitely doesn't. It tastes beautiful. It tastes like natural sugar. Mm -hmm. You know, when you make something without sort of all the additives and stuff yeah. in, it just tastes really natural. Wow, what a way mm. to start. Mm. So far so good, Sweets of Japan, so far so good. Mm. All right, let's pop that one to rest because we could just sit here for a little while. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Very Wicked. impressed. Yeah? I never, never saw anything we like that We never had either. that either, but it was just so pretty as well. So next up we have Hoshi, um, which means star in Japanese, and we think mm. it is in this little box here. How cute is that? <laughs> um, it's a healthy and creative set consisting of jam <laughs> made with red bean paste, which is my favourite, um, and eight custom designed cookie spoons. Oh my goodness, they do look like spoons. Let me get this out. So this oh, that's is big. the. <gasps> That's a good size as that well. That looks amazing. Usually you get like only tiny, tiny little things. And then these are the spoons. Cinnamon and ginger taste. I'm not sure if I've said that. Oh, they Ooh. look cool. Um, Let's open them. The jam is made of koshian. That's smell jam. Um, the most common type of red bean paste. I didn't even know there were different <gasps> red bean pastes. It's also good when you put this anko on toasted bread with butter, just oh like jam. Oh my goodness, we'll you are to... going to love this. <laughs> we'll have to give that a go. We'll save a little bit for afterwards and try that on with some bread. Oh wow, red bean, like jam jam. Amazing. That is mad. Red bean is my favourite thing ever. And a spoon. Look, they look like <laughs> little spoons as well. So you... Mm. Oh, sorry, and I'm taking full initiative. <laughs> <this one. laughs> go on. <laughs> this is really, really This really cinnamony. is the best day ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hot. Ah, probably because oh, wow. it's like... No, it's just supposed <gasps> to be, isn't it? Oh, wow. It does look like jam, <laughs> the consistency. <laughs> oh, that, that jam is amazing. Mm, I'm going to have this on my... Toast every morning. <laughs> On everything, probably. Yeah. Mm, wow. Oh, but the cookies are really nice as well. 
that special. Mm -hmm. They really complement each other too. Because um, I'm a big fan of cinnamon. They're not. Yeah, they're sweet, but it's got that kind of kick to it. Yeah. So whereas the red bean is kind of very sort of sugary. But the red bean is naturally sweet. Mm. That's what I like about it. Is it's not like sweetened for the sake of it. Mmm. I mean, this day cannot get any better. That was really good. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. And um, yeah, we'll get through them later on. And I'm going to get through that jam. But again, I love the idea of I just it. Love the size of it. Spoon. It makes it a little bit more interactive as opposed to just say buying a chocolate bar and stuff in your mouth. Um, put okay. these over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, next up, but so far so very good, mm. um, we have Monaca, um, which are these things. Um, we've actually had Monaca before, haven't we, in our yeah. last video, but these ones are a little bit different. Um, it typically consists of red bean paste, so again, red bean thumbs up from us. Sandwiched between two crispy wafers made from rice cake mochi. The taste is similar to an ice cream cone, which, yeah, mochi, that mochi actually quite is. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, in most cases, Monaca is already made ready to eat, but this time around we found you a very nice looking and super delicious Monaca that you can make yourself. <gasps> wow, no so way. this has got the, the red bean. Paste mm -hmm. in there. Do you want to share one? And then, and then we yeah, let's one share one. And then, so we have. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, usually they just come pre packaged. Yeah, up, so together, but so they've given you two halves. You put the red bean paste in the middle. Now, the ones that. that we had before were nice, but they were quite cheap. So um, you could, they were so kind of over sweetened mm. that we, we could only really have one. I say that I, I definitely had more than one. In, in a day, but <laughs> I think after the video, Nathan ate them all. <laughs> Trying to be modest, that just slide out. Just do, yeah. Oh, where do I just buy more packages? Just, of this? <laughs> I mean, in, you I can't bulk, get anything like this. this in the what? UK. And no, I, I, I maybe you can, maybe but somewhere not... in London, but but even this is just so handcrafted. From yeah, Japan. beautiful. And the prices you pay. In the UK as well, they're just we. I've phenomenal. been into one shop in central London before that sells <laughs> um, Japanese sweets, and they are beautiful and they're really, really well made, um, mochi and red bean stuff. But it's around three pound for very something very small. So actually, this works out kind of cost effective when yeah, you think about it. The amount of stuff we've got money. in here, and the fact that it's come all the way from Japan just makes it even more special. Mm -hmm. How is it? Are you gonna share? No, I really don't want to. Oh, that is amazing. This really is just taking me back to Japan. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. How different is that to like the cheaper one we had before? So different. Mm -hmm. mm. Incredible. It, just, it is uh, like an ice cream cone. It is, and it works so well. I love mochi like that as well, sort of the crispy. We're going to be fighting over who gets what's left. Beautiful. Mmm. Incredible. Do I get to finish it? God, only because there's another one. Mmm. <laughs> 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 so good. It's just made me realise how much I've missed it as well. Mm -hmm. I knew I missed it, but now. Incredible. It takes, it takes you back, doesn't it? Woo! That was so, so good. Now, next up, we have the matcha, um, which is definitely in this one here. This is a premium wakaki shiro matcha. It's a rich taste, uh, rich taste, taste and an elegant aroma of green tea. Um, now, from our travels um, in Japan, we actually picked up a matcha bowl and a little whisk um, whilst we were travelling. So we're going to run downstairs and get them along with some hot water in just a second. Um, but it does say here, if you don't have these, a mug and any old whisk will yeah, do, definitely. which is really cool. Um, pop two grams of matcha. Right, now it is time to go and get some hot water and a couple of matcha bowls. Let's go, yeah? Yay! Okay. 
so we have just picked up some hot water um there's supposed to be a certain yeah so it's 80 degrees you're not actually um 80 degrees centigrade not actually supposed to have it boiling because mm -hmm. apparently it can sort of burn the powder and change the taste of it it might make it bitter and things like that so yes yeah, so as if we have this bamboo whisk it says if you don't have one of these just use a normal whisk like you said and one teaspoon I just love the colour of it as well. It's just such an intense green. Come on then. Get you a it's bit two grams, two grams of matcha, which is probably just is that quite a bit? One teaspoon. Okay. Nice. So just one of those, yeah? Alright. Okay. And we'll pop the other bowl. These are our matcha bowls that we picked up in Osaka. No, not Osaka, uh, Kyoto. Kyoto. That's like super, super heat. That should be alright. I think that's I think that's two grams anyway. Um, and there's loads left over as well, so it's not oh just yeah, there's one, plenty, not just for one serving. One tea, you've got quite a few in there, I would say. So that's still steaming a little bit. We have our little whisk here, which we picked up at the same time. You basically pop in and, and do this with like a wrist motion. Yeah, and like so you get the M. air into it, and it goes all frothy on top. It's amazing. Wow, is that supposed to be opened up? No, I think that's just what happens to it. Oh, really? Oh wow, wicked. Right, so let's have some matcha green tea. And this is supposed to be super, super premium um, stuff, so. It's about 60, so you roughly know how much. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah? yeah. Go and do yours. Wow, instantly the smell just hits you, and this is gonna complement yeah. all of the kind it goes of sweets so you've well. had. You have to and then you do it in a kind of like an M motion. But we learnt off some friends in Japan that it's all in the wrist. It's not in a not in a circular motion. It's more like an up and down until it goes frothy. And oh then, the smell. <laughs> I know, can. It just like the smell hit me straight away. Wow. There we go, and then I know I'm oh, not going to be doing good. this, but they, you go around the bowl like that, don't you? Yeah. And then you can use it, and, and then yeah, there's something to, about yeah, tea turning ceremony. it. Twice we did a tea ceremony in Kyoto and learned all of this, and also yeah. from our friend as well. You put the most beautiful part of the bowl towards you. Mmm. Let me give it a little sip. Go for it. Oh, this is really frothing up well as well. That is beautiful. That is really, really nice. And then you just kind of get rid of the big bubbles as well. Mm -hmm. And we have a little holder oh, for it as well. Oh, and then it drips into the bottom. Yeah, it's oh, good. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to try and show you. <laughs> so you can see this is all the sort of throth, thro 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 on top. And then you have sort of the, the green tea underneath. It smells incredible. This just takes me back so much. Oh wow, that's good. Mm -hmm. That is some good tea. <laughs> that's some good tea. <laughs> We've tried a, 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 quite a few different types of mm -hmm. matcha now, so I feel like we have a, a small sort yeah, of idea of, yeah. but this one is amazing. Mm, oh, it is, wow. as, as I said, earlier, the Premium Wakaki really well. Shiro Matcha. Mm. Um, awesome. So I'm going to actually save that as well to drink alongside my... Mm. Um, oh, beautiful. I finished mine. It was too sweet. good. You can have some more. <laughs> we have lots. Oh, we have some more water, yeah. yeah. So next up, um, we have got Carinto, um, which is crispy Carinto. Um, it's a deep fried Japanese tradition. It's in this mm. one here. Uh, traditional sweet made of flour, yeast, and brown sugar. Um, this is from a very popular brand specializing in Corinto, and they use the traditional way to make the sweets and use only the best organic ingredients. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh wow. Wow, look. <laughs> they do a fair few. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's crazy. Again, this is just the, where, what, 
Sweets of Japan have done so well is everything's hand-picked. They've really thought about... It's a really good variety, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And they're all sealed as well, which mm. is great, so you can... And they give you expiration dates as well on the sheet. Um, and some of this stuff lasts like a fair these few look months. These interesting. We saw these a lot, and I never had any. They don't look like they would be sweet. Mmm. Oh. Oh, they're really nice. Mm. Let me show you on the camera. Let me take it from you. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like a small. Mm. <laughs> really crispy. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Awesome. I love these. Yeah, they're really nice. Oh, wicked. Yeah. Mm. Right. They're kind of like a mixture. You can have them as like crisps as well. Mm -hmm. Or if you're watching a film. Oh, I love them. Now moving on to some manju. Um, a bun made of flour, rice powder and buckwheat. Uh, usually manju filling consists of red bean and other delicious combinations. It must be in those little things, mm. yeah. Um, this so month cute. we have a special manju in the shape of a wild baby boar. Rebo. Oh. This funny shape is very popular in Japan. It represents energy, liveliness, and cuteness. Yeah. Do you want to just share one? Yeah. So in Japan as well, which is really cool, is that through the seasons and different times of year, mm. all of their sweets change. Yeah. So during the spring, it's Sakura cherry blossom season, mm -hmm. and all of the wagashi is... Yeah, like it's that kind of thing, yeah. yeah. Which is great. So Another cool. reason, if you get a monthly switch, it's all going to be different. Look! <laughs> That is so cute! Go on, do you want to show the it camera again? Because that's really cool. Pig. Wild baby boar. Wild baby boar. I didn't pick. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. Can I bite its head off now? No. <laughs> it really is just like little pieces of art. I love yeah, it. It's, yeah, and that kind We're of first sentence it makes sense. Go on, just go straight in. Full of red bean goodness. Mmm, white red bean. Oh, mm. is it white mung bean? It's either white. It's white bean. Yeah, that's what it tastes like to me. It tastes like vanilla the... to me. Man, I think the other one was a different colour. I reckon I that might have red red bean in. Yeah, but that's beautiful. Oh. Oh, sorry. I completely forgot. <laughs> <laughs> you can have the other one. <laughs> but, oh, really, really good. Mmm. Oh, that was amazing. I love the, the outside of it as well. That's actually one of my favourite things. Really? Yeah, I really like that. Not that I got much of it, but... Well, you can, yeah. have, the, you can have the last one. I'm joking. I'm just, it was in my hand. <laughs> I call but yeah, that was really cool. I call Naven a hoover. <laughs> <laughs> Right, next up, um, although that manju is really good, next mm. up, oh, is our final piece, yeah. believe it or not, which has gone really quickly. Um, our last piece of wagashi is senbei, um, a Japanese version of rice cracker. This month we have a packed, uh, special premium pack of senbei, each made from a whole shrimp. Yeah, Ooh. you can see the actual. Oh, this will be fun. Well. You can enjoy the taste of seafood and the crunchiness of a rice cracker. Uh, this one is not sweet, by the way, so best drink for it would be beer. Ah, okay. <laughs> right. Let's go and grab a beer whilst we <laughs> finishes our green tea. So. You got the Asahi glass. Yeah, so well. we have a Japanese Asahi, and what we also have <laughs> is, believe it or not, an Asahi. <laughs> Um, glass that we purchased from the Asahi building yeah. in Tokyo, yeah. right at the top. So wow, this has all come together beautifully. Oh, this is like just so, so many nice memories. It's cool, right? Yeah. I feel food does that as well. Food and, you know, when you eat or drink certain things, they just, it kind of takes you back to certain places. Mm -hmm. and Obviously we can really share special. this one. Pop half of it in. 
have to fill it all the way yeah. up to the top. So there we go. She's straight in, no rice cracker, anything first. But What's again, the taste of it? <laughs> again, um, the matcha really complements uh, all the wagashi, um, all the sweet wagashi, and then. I mean, you don't need to tell me twice to have a nice beer with a rice cracker, so we're all good to go. Lovely. Now, we saw this a lot in Japan. We never actually tried it, and they actually did like huge ones, didn't they? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. They were like, oh, yeah, seeing like, people really, walk around, we were like, Whoa. I'm really quite excited to try it. There you go. The actual, I don't know, the shape of it is a bit. Because you can I see the bits. One. Okay. There you go. You can. You can see the bits it of... It is kind of flattened. Let me show you so you can actually see what we're eating. It smells really fishy. You can tell it is just a, like a cracker. Mmm. And that's like the towel. Yeah. As it goes up. It must yeah. be good though, right? We saw loads of people popular. having them. Dig in? Oh, yeah. Mm. It's the fishy seafood cracker, really. Kind of reminds me like a prawn cracker, but actually stronger. Well, that's what it is. It tastes like a lot more into a lot more. They've seem to have kept a really lot of the strong. flavor in it, mm -hmm. haven't they? It's really strong. And a sweet of Japan said pairs pairs perfectly with a beer. Mmm. Very interesting. Mmm. I'm not sure I could have that a lot, but wow. It is effectively a prawn cracker. I actually really like it as well, sort of at the end of the sweets, to have something mm -hmm. savoury. Yeah, that's not, yeah, that's it's, a good idea. And the, how they have picked out all these different things, they're amazing. And um, just work, all work so well together. Mm. It's just, it's just strange looking at it though, isn't it? Because actually... you can't, it doesn't taste like the... I, that you can't. It looks like it's just a flattened shrimp, but it doesn't yeah. taste like a flattened shrimp. It just tastes like a like a, a prawn rice cracker. It's really nice. Yeah. So that was amazing. We loved pretty much every one, nearly everything. Um, everything. Yeah. And um, we just like to thank Sweets of Japan um, again uh, for sending us out some to try, basically, and yeah. yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. It kind of took us back to Japan it really for a little did. while. It and. Especially if you have never tried them before, mm. you it's just such an interesting thing to do. But and the, they're beautiful. Yeah, the attention to detail, just the quality of them as well. Mm -hmm. You can tell it's just so worth the money. Uh, I mean, at first you think maybe it's a bit pricey, but what yeah. you actually get for it is incredible. Yeah. Such a good value for money. And, oh, I just loved <laughs> everything. Like I said, it's a bit overwhelming, really. Yeah. I was just, it just so... Fantastic! I just can't yeah, say anything obviously. more good about it, really. We've had kind of half of everything there in one mm. sitting. Usually, you'd maybe just try one thing and then try another. It would last so, you, yeah. Yeah, for it could a last long you a time. Um, yeah, we absolutely loved it. Um, thanks for sending us some. Um, and that website again is sweetsofjapan.com. Um, if you want to go and check it out or just learn a little bit more about wagashi and matcha. Um, but I think that's pretty much the end of the video. Um, if you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up below. And as always, please subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, thank you for subscribing. Mm -hmm. And um, make sure to push the bell for notifications as well so that you get notified whenever we upload a new video. And we'll leave it there. Um, I think we're gonna finish off this beer. And I'll probably say that we won't finish off all the sweets straight away and save them a little while, but I imagine they're gonna you go probably pretty will. quickly. <laughs> um, so until next time, let's travel together and we will see you in the next one. Bye.